Uh, thank you, and thank you for coming. It's a really great pleasure for me to be here to welcome uh, Sal Khan uh, to MIT, and particularly to this class, uh, Founders Journey. Um, and there's a reason that we invited uh, many more people um, here besides the regular class. What I'm uh, very pleased to um, announce here uh, tonight is this collaboration, and I've just got a few things uh, to share with you about it. It's not a collaboration so much between the uh, institution MIT and the institution Khan Academy, because Khan Academy is not really an institution, right? <laughs> you know, you're working on it, right? Um, but it's really an opportunity for you to collaborate with the world to, to do some great things. So that's what's uh, behind all of this. And so thanks to Sal for the opportunity to, to work with him on that. This is uh, about the uh, collaboration for K through 12 education. And first I want to tell you a little bit about why. So why is this something that MIT should focus on, K through 12 uh, education? It's not directly in our mission statement. We're a higher education institution. Um, you know, all of you guys are here as uh, undergrads and grads. Um, in the U.S. today, less than 5% of degrees are engineering degrees. And this has been, I'll show you another slide in a moment, uh, been well understood that you know, the level of uh, technical skill that we have uh, in the United States uh, correlates very strongly with you know, our overall quality of life. And there's a concern when we only have a small fraction of people um, getting engineering and technical degrees. You can also see the demographics are not um, as well balanced as you would like to see those demographics. And particularly when it comes to engineering. So you say, why is the Dean of Engineering talking about this? Um, adults perceive that scientists more than engineers uh, save lives, care about protecting the environment, improve the quality of our lives, are sensitive to societal concerns, uh, inclusive of women and minorities, uh, care about the community. And when you look at uh, some surveys of teens, I'll have to read these for you. This is teens' view of society's top contributors. Um, in order here, it's uh, teachers, doctors, um, scientists, military, engineers, politicians. All right, so engineers, we've gotten just over a low bar. Um, and again, this has been well understood that uh, this is not the best thing for our future quality of life. We really do need technically capable people. Um, but in answer to the question why, well, it's not MIT's problem. Half of our students are engineers, half of our undergrads are women, a quarter of our undergrads are underrepresented minorities. Um, but it's a problem, I think, because you all are the very best in the world at what you do that we can help contribute to. Um, so this is just a little more data. This is a, a report from the National Academies called The Gathering Storm, rapidly approaching um, Category 5. And it really talks about this connection between having um, a very good uh, K through 12 education in the nation and having a very strong economy. And the data is not very good. You know, 49% of U.S. adults uh, don't know how long it takes for the Earth to revolve around the sun. Um, we have dropped dramatically in terms of the education level of our young adults. Um, and we have uh, most of the students in our public schools not being taught by people who've ever had a certificate or training in math or physics or physical sciences. So there's a lot of areas that we can work on, and I don't think we're gonna fix it by changing this system that exists. The way it's gonna change is uh, people like Sal Khan who go out and just do it in an entirely new way. Um, so as I said, the, the, the idea that uh, came into my head was, what if I pay anyone at MIT $1,000 to create a video? You know, I've got 10,000 people here, students, Right? And $1,000 if you're eating ramen noodles is not a bad deal. <laughs> right? Uh, nothing against ramen noodles. Um, actually, I don't like ramen noodles. But um, <laughs> just, you know, might as well be honest about it. Um, but it's scalable. There's 10,000 students at MIT. For some of you, $1,000 to make a great video and have a great outreach opportunity would be a good deal. Um, and you know, Sal, as you'll hear, he's done 2,800 videos, 90 million views. You know, we can work with Sal to connect to this really important audience who's coming to his site because they learn better there, not because it's something that they have to do. 
right? So it's a real opportunity for us at MIT. This moved pretty quickly. Um, it went from just having an idea to uh, completing some uh, videos. We've done a couple rounds. We've done some assessments. And what we'd like to do, but we need your help with it, is we'd like to, in a year, get 500 or maybe 1,000 videos done. We'd like to do it the year after that. We'd like to do it the year after that, too. Um, we'd like to get um, a lot of content from MIT students, and we'd like to use some of the best modern techniques and educational technology, crowd-curated content, and things like that to really connect you to the K through 12 audience. This is a service learning opportunity. It'll address an important national challenge. It'll show people the face of future innovators. So our mode of delivery is a little different than Sal Khan's here because we want people to see your face and we want you to use the laboratories at MIT to do neat hands-on demonstrations. Or if it's not labs at MIT, you can go any place and develop neat hands-on demonstrations uh, for people. Because right, that's something that's hard for Sal to do. Right? He doesn't have the world's greatest laboratory facilities in the world. Um, you all do, collectively. Right? So that's what we're talking about, is us being an experiential learning partner for Khan Academy. Um, it'll teach us a lot about online content at MIT, and it's a good time for us to learn about it. Um, and it'll teach us how to innovate really fast in this space. So this is a different model. This isn't about faculty members filming lectures. This is about you all going out and figuring out what could really be a useful contribution and doing it. And we'll have some connections with K through 12 educators to help with that. So, and those are all the great things for MIT. Fundamentally though, we can help this uh, big national challenge. So write down this email address. And I hope that you'll share it with friends or use it yourself. And I also want to acknowledge two people who are really the, the force behind this. Uh, Becky Fearing is the person who uh, is the point person for making it all happen here at MIT. Uh, Chad Galtz uh, does all the things that Becky doesn't do, and uh, between the two of them, they've made it work. You know, Sal just had a great session with some students who've coded some problems and things. We're open. Make us a proposal, right, for what you'd like to create um, that would really make a significant advance in this area, right? Could be videos, could be problems. Uh, come and make us a proposal.